Hi, and welcome back to my channel at Oso Victoria, where I have another haul to show you from our week trip to Central Oregon at some of the thrift stores. And actually, I want to start with one was a boutique in, in Sisters. It's one of the uh, first ones I stopped at because everything was outside uh, on sale. So I, I hit their sale rack at this uh, little boutique and I can't remember the name of it. I don't have it written down. But I did uh, find four items for $10 each. So I just want to kind of show you what I picked up there. Um, let me show you the first item actually is for me. I'm going to keep. Um, it's a gap. Oh, no, it's a billy bong. It's just a little billy bong tank top. Um, so that's, I got this originally. I mean, this was the first thing I picked up for um, 10 bucks original. Lee twenty seven ninety five, um. So I thought it was really cool. I liked the color, so I actually got that. And then um, when I went in to pay for that, I said, "Well, uh, out on the rack is everything there are ten dollars." And she said, "Yeah, she just put everything out there that she wanted to uh, discontinue at the store." And so I went back out because there were some other really cute things. All right, so there were some other really cute things out there that I wanted to get. And one of them was this sanctuary dress. Um, it's a maxi dress. has a little flounce on the end of it. Uh, sanctuary. And the original cost she had on this was $146. She had marked it down to $70. And I got it for $10. It's a size 4 rayon dress with this back tie on it so i thought that was really cute and that will look really cute in my poshmark closet some new stuff with tags and the other thing um she had were these shorts these little buttons these little cotton shorts they're hardtail they're called hardtail so they were also ten dollars and the original prices on these were $76 and I did go online and look and and I'm thinking yeah that's about what they sell for <laughs> online new uh, to me for shorts for $76 it's like okay um, but they're cotton and I did sell a pair of vintage black vintage shorts in this style that had gold buttons and some white stripes like going down them um, so yeah, I thought these were really cute too. And then I got these, the last thing I got for $10 was these Roxy cotton pants, which just regular old pants. I was hoping they'd fit me, they're a size medium. They'd go good with that little tank top, but I wear large in some pants. And anyway, these were a regular $50. Um, so she had them marked down to 20 and then I got them for 10. So just cotton green slacks. I thought those would go good in the Poshmark closet too um, to sell for at least what she had originally marked them down for. Not the $10, but the other original like 70 on the dress. And I don't know about the shorts. What she have? Do I have a price other than 38 she had marked these down, these $76 to $38, so they were half off. So I could try them at that price on Posh and then see what they sell, and then I could always mark them down. But $10 for each of those is not a bad deal. So anyway, that was at a boutique, so that's a retail arbitrage there. But what I want to really go over is also we went to another town, which was the other town, it in Primeville. So we drove out to Primeville on the 5th of November, and I hit up this other thrift store. What was the thrift store? It was a Humane Society thrift store. Oh, that was the other one, a Humane Society. And I found some more good things. Uh, so some pretty good deals. And I like ashtray. So I did get this ashtray for $1.50. I also got a 25% discount that particular day. So the total of everything I'm going to show you here it was $24.00 and 26 cents and i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve items and so this ashtray 
And so when you hold it up to the light, you probably can't see holding it up to this light. But anyway, when you hold it up to the light, it is a darker purple kind of thing. Um, so I thought that was cool. Probably can't see <laughs> through it unless I show light right through it or something. And like I said, I like ashtrays. So that was cool. And then I, and then as I was checking out, I noticed this eagle. It's a metal eagle that's been brass plated. And I always like Americana things like this. It was actually $5, so it was a little bit much, but it says United Savings Bank on it. So I didn't know it was old. Um, so that's the, well, you put your money in there and then you set it up on your shelf. So I sold a, like a metal brass plated in a better shape than this eagle pole, flagpole top thingy that sits somehow onto the top of a flagpole. Sold that many, many years ago. I didn't sell it for much because I don't sell my collectibles for that much. But um, as I learn, live and learn, uh, prices go up a little. <laughs> so anyway, it's a very cool Americana Eagle emblem. Five bucks. Not sure what not sure what I'm gonna sell it for because I did not do any research on that. And then I found this fabric for $1.25. Oh, I just thought that was cool. It's a it's a knit kind of fleet, not fleece, flannel, kind of not flannel, but a knit. I like polka dots. I haven't opened it up, so I don't know. Anyway, it is seven eighths of a yard by fifty eight inches, and fifty eight inches is is wide, so I'm not sure if they measured it right. So without opening it up and measuring it out, um, this would be a cool top or skirt or something. <laughs> I don't know. I love fabric. I have tons of fabric, but I buy more because I love fabric. I have 12 bins of fabric and I do sell fabric when I ever get around to listing it. I do sell it. I've sold some pretty cool fabric, some vintage fabric. So anyway, I'll get around to listing that. And then I found and the rest is clothing. So I picked up this vintage skirt. It is a Copley square there. Uh, could be the 80s because has this paper tag on it and a union. 70s, maybe. A um, little pleated. Actually, it's a wrap. It's a little wrap skirt. So it's a little wrap around skirt. Totally wrap around um, wool. So cute. And, uh, they seem to be selling pretty good, the ones I sold. I thought there was something else that was Copley. Might come across it in some of this stuff. Uh, and then this Alford, this is a blazer, Schumann for Lillian. Suede jacket. This is vintage. I didn't realize it was vintage till I was looking it up and saw that it was actually a vintage. So it's an ultra suede uh, blazer. Really nice little one button blazer. Um, what did I get? I got the skirt was three dollars and the jacket was five. I have two jackets and this jacket was five. And this other jacket, because I got two of them, this is a Jane Ashley Jane Ashley quilted jacket. These don't resell for much, but it is a, it's a 2X. So I thought that was a good size and I like the neutral kind of greenish color of this quilted jacket. So what am I thinking, like is it 35? I don't know, pockets and little metal buttons cool five bucks put that up to five bucks and this is a sweater and 
couldn't find anything like it and the label and I can't and the label almost looks like Gideon like the t-shirt company here um it's kind of got sewed up in there it's a size medium but the print or the all the little funny little things on it um was just too cool to pass up because it was so unique with all the little patchwork and then how this front button part is quilted like that little thing i just thought that was way cool um you know you have ugly christmas sweaters so this could be an ugly fall sweater that's cool <laughs> anyway olive green size medium this was under the listed as a sweater um for three bucks even 25 30 dollars whatever cool and then i got some children's clothes this was a dollar fifty this little gap kids size seven eight um corduroy it's like a, a brush corduroy little jacket with this little embroidery on the back and the shoulder and this really pretty blue color it's in great shape it's in like excellent shape too cute um could put it on kittison poshmark ebay whatever not sure what else i'll for not much so there's a dollar fifty and then this shirt think is a one as a girl's but they had it in the boys section and it's just a little plaid shirt um cowboy hardware is the brand this is on the back now i'm i'm in central oregon which is how do i describe farm country cattle ranching Pretty much high desert that's what they do there uh, it has the pearl snaps here they, but I think it's a woman's the way it's that our girls and I think it's an extra large so it couldn't be a woman so it has to be a girl's um, but it was really cute cotton pretty sure it's cotton plaid western yeah cotton shirt this was a dollar good price for that and this was 10 cents went to their linen department but this she thought it was a doily i said no this is a crocheted collar and it feels hand crocheted um little collar which is good for doing uh decoration diy du diy do-it-yourself projects home sewing um things like that but really cute uh, and it does really feel like a hand crocheted little collar for 10 cents and um, the last thing I got there for these shoes was three dollars. <laughs> They're tied together. Baker, I've seen these. Um, these are Baker B Baker white leather sandals, wooden wooden heels, wooden platform heels. Um, really, really cute. Great for summer. And then I did see these online. I saw both of them online. I can't remember what they go for. These are INC, International Concepts. A little fur. They're real fur, actually, is what they say. They're real fur. Heels. Pumps. Cute. Cute. Little pumps. 
So that's everything I got at the Humane Society thrift store in Prineville. It's the only one we went to. Oh no, there was another one we went to. <laughs> I'll get to that one in another video. It was mostly kids clothes. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm trying to, I get so confused because we went to so many different towns. We went to Prineville, Madras, and Sisters, I think are the thrift stores we went to. It was a few months ago I went to the one in Bend. Okay, so if you if you like haul content, uh, hit the like button and subscribe for a notification of when more haul videos come up. If you hit the notification, you'll also get notifications of what sold videos and travel videos that I do when we do go out and about from Southern Oregon here and go traveling, do some hiking. Probably won't be very many of those because it is winter time and I don't like the cold. I should be back in Southern California. That's where I grew up, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm here in Southern Oregon. So anyway, if you like this uh, type of content, uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for watching. That's all I can say. And hit the like. Okay, thanks. Bye.